I've heard that every man's G spot mm -hmm. is at the back. Man. What is reaming? <laughs> what is reaming? <laughs> okay, and some of your boyfriends are like those back shots, and I'm just like, yeah, but yeah. nigga, you're straight, so unyaka income. But I don't care because <laughs> now I'm open minded. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back. Did you miss us? Because we missed you. Back like I never left. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. As you see, I have your fave, and this is the part two of asking gays questions we've always wanted to know. So Refilwe drafted a couple of questions. I don't know where she got them, but she will be asking me those questions and then I'll be answering them. So we have this class of questionnaires. Hi guys, back like I never left. Part two. So um these questions I got from people, random people, because like obviously I knew that we were gonna come back here as we promised and we we're gonna talk about this. So I had to ask people questions that they've always wanted to ask gay questions. Mm. So we are here and I'm gonna ask them and I hope you guys are gonna watch this because we'll be answering your questions. Zuko is gonna be answering all the questions that you guys are and then easily. guys again another disclaimer like last time i'm answering these questions based on my experience and based on my personal views so i'm not coming for anyone so don't come for me you ask questions and he will be answering and you better be watching and liking and subscribing and commenting and sharing and hence i said guys we are just trying to share information um if you feel like you can do better Send me an email, Sana, and let me feature you on my channel so that mm -hmm. we can go further into these kind of topics. So, yeah, without wasting your time, let's get into this video. Okay, um, okay, okay, because it's, it's okay, let's see, guys. My handwriting is so bad, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm a doctor. Oh my god, I've got like the worst question ever already. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what is a okay. gay G spot? <laughs> Sorry. Um, normally, I've heard that Sorry. every man's G spot mm -hmm. is at the back. Mm -hmm. So, when it comes to gay people, more naki would lending where I had my experiences. Mm -hmm. When you are gay, your G spot is more, it's on 90% or it's on 100% at the back. And then, how the Mushimani Astrid is probably on 15 10%. But they say a man's G spot is at the back. And number two, if you are a girl and you are trying to get your man to be quick, you'll have to tap it at least for them to reach that. I don't know, you can comment on the comment section down below, but a man's. This spot is at the back. Pedele up. The rest and yes, will be teeny frequency when it comes to straight people and gay people. But they say when it comes to gay people, it's on a hundred. And when it comes to straight people, it's on a ten percent. And as that's what I heard. Go and Google it because now we go Google it on. I think. Yeah, probably. Okay, guys. Um, we're gonna have. Please don't mind how I read out these questions because these were given to different people and it's everybody else's different handwriting so mm. please bear with us <laughs> what is reaming <laughs> that is what is reaming <laughs> okay reaming initially it's same as during yeah. playground mm -hmm. before the actual thing sexually reaming is literally licking someone's back oh my god same as Muffing when it comes to girls, but now you are oh, doing it on the, the other part. Yes, you are doing it on the back, so it, it's a reaming, it's another name for so it's not a, a common name because even Lona as straight people, mm -hmm. you don't really do anal stuff because yeah, you're straight, yeah. so hence the name is a you bit foreign to other people. But you might be shocked you because you know, be and some of your boyfriends are those back shots and i'm just like yeah. but nigga you're straight so unyaka income but i don't care because <laughs> now, now i'm open-minded <laughs> and my thing is after you do that with your boyfriend 
a hopela the other hole. How do you feel as a girl? Okay, but that's a video for another day, not today. Today we are focusing on gays, and then the other video will focus on girls. Yeah. So yeah. Because that one has to be. Oh my god. Please. Okay. <laughs> Is being gay lifestyle or choice? I think, I think that's what it, it, it's not it's not a choice basically if i were to ask everyone who is gay now um if they enjoy being gay and everything or if they were they had a chance to choose what would they choose most of them at an adult age they say no i'm good being gay i love being gay and everything but as a kid and you are different and everyone is mocking you about it it's not nice and again i don't understand how a five-year-old or even a three-year-old would choose to be gay it's not a choice oh yeah it's yeah. something that you are born with and people don't understand it so it's not a choice it's not a lifestyle choice it's something that you are born with as much as you try to fight it but it's gonna be there at the end of the day yeah because there's this little boy that i met um yesterday when i went to Joburg. Um, he was with his mom, and I, I could just tell her, Oh, but <laughs> like literally, I could just tell her, Oh, but and then number two, I could be in a taxi, and then people are passing money, <laughs> and then there's gonna be a brother at my back, <laughs> and then the hand gestures, the voice. I'm just like, Babe, you are gay, but what's happening? And I'm just like, Ah, it's is none it, of my business because it, I think my gay that is high. I can tell a person who's gay, even if for once fancy you are not doing anything, you are just chilling, just from your face. I can tell her, uh, is it also possible to be gay without knowing that you're gay? I know it's not part of your guys' questions, but I just felt like I could like, but no, but, it, but it's a question at the end of the day. Um, I think yes, depending on there are people who are not exposed to this gay lifestyle, mm -hmm. like if you are in rural areas and everything, but it's quite rare mm -hmm. nowadays. But I think people can be gay without knowing or without, like, you know, we put our rules straight, but they have straight up until something sparks or something go on, and then they are given an opportunity to explore that but i think you can be gay without even realizing it like go so it's not a matter of denial sometimes yeah you just don't know. yeah you sometimes know. you just don't know or sometimes you didn't grow up or you born so it's something that you don't know you when know, I I when I I I I so when you are growing up and everything because that's the system yeah, you grew up yeah, under but the rona haro sheba go take scene we are just like my nigga you are so gay yes on yes on alibana but do you are fucking gay i'm sorry so chances are we'll guess it's a yeah okay that one is addressed oh yeah and you just mentioned this you said your gator is high yes. someone asked what is a gator because i also wanted to ask but i was just like okay okay what is a gator a gator is my ability to sense or to see someone who is gay like not if you are gay okay go tv i think i can sense the energy I can feel a person who's gay or out way. And uh, nine out of ten chances, I'm always right. So a gay that is you being able to identify a person who is biosexual or gay in your space. So my gay that is high. And uh, someone will say to me, no, Zuko, how do you see it? Like, Obona in, what do you notice and everything? There's nothing specific. As I say to her, you could be literally sitting Back down, right. doing right. nothing, and then... Yes, because I also I have another public transport story where I was in a taxi and then this guy, Natsenale, girlfriend, I could literally hear the grinder app notification. That crum, yeah, grinder. And I was just like, lay grinder, there's no way. This and was grinder. If it wasn't, and and grinder, I wasn't a girlfriend, I wasn't going to know. No, you, you don't, you won't don't even, even know. know yes, it. you don't even know it because grinder is a hookup app for gays. So when I only when I, you wouldn't know it. So it, it has a distinct, different sound when the, mm -hmm. when the notification comes in. It's like LinkedIn. You can, like LinkedIn. yes, you can only know it if you've, you've used it. Because Len Nakit's well like if I've never used it. 
<laughs> okay. Why do you guys have similar tones? I don't know, but the Kiba na letters, barata or rasa, bama shata. They do have the similar. It's not similar, similar, but it's mm, so, something that says high the game. Yes, but I live, and whenever they are talking and communicating, like by any thing, by it's a short, but no, they overdo things. They overdo things, and as someone was like to me, guys love, they try hard to be girls. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, they're not trying hard to be girls. They are gays. So how they act, because you don't know what you might interpret it as. Guys are trying hard to be girls. They are not trying hard to be girls. They are being themselves. And by being that loud and extra, on. that's big. Hence, if you watch Pose, have you ever watched Pose? Yeah. Where they apply the heavy makeup, mm -hmm. the everything, and then it's walking and everything. Yeah, everything there is extra. Even the makeup, the contouring, the lipstick, the everything, everything is extra. That's being gay. You need to be extra. Because that's how you also, express I yourself. I just feel like if, if they were not being like that, then they not i feel like it's just it's gay it's gay you you're gay and you acting gay i just feel like people have set like standards where they expect people to yes. act and behave in a certain way and now that because oh god the gays want to be women but also it's just like no they don't want to be women they're gay mm. as zuko said so it mm. comes with a certain persona yes. hence he said that which was is like distinct. a five-year-old that he saw that he might be gay or he's gay it's just it's just they it's mm. something i think that is to do with yeah how you are the way you got things because you were born that way so it's not a lifestyle choice so Straight people have a tendency of assuming that gays they try, they try to to overdo it. And I'm like, it's not even about that. They just being themselves. That's how they are. So you don't need to be when I'm offended. If gay hides are my gay it's not about you. It's not about you. Yeah, it's not it's about how you. they are. So yeah. Okay, guys, stop taking things personal. Let people be people. It's not about you, babe. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Thing is we spoke about something like this last week. Mm -hmm. Where we asked not last week, the last video, yes. where we asked, um, is it hard for you guys to get in a relationship? And then now this question mm -hmm. is asking, is monogamy realistic to gays? Like you know, you know, you know, you know what I feel personally. I feel like monogamy in gay relationships it's it's not working. What are you, what are you doing? For me personally, I feel like the gay that like gays just cheat in general. No so I find <laughs> relationships, open relationships working better for gays. Because if ever now I wanna go and sleep with Refilo, my partner will know, mm. we'll talk about it. Oh, if Refilo, the community, right? Yes, if Refilo is also interested, because we can all do a dressam. Because how he, does that work for you guys? Like in terms of relationships, like the the whole thing. Yeah, okay, fine. We probably like how you said we could literally go for like a threesome mm -hmm. kind of. A, how does that look like from your guys' side, from their relationship perspective, from when you guys are planning to go together? Like how does it look like? Because if in my relationship right mm -hmm. now, say I'm in a relationship and he'd be like, I want a threesome. For me, it would. I would personally feel like. I'm probably not enough, I'm not doing something or what. It would affect the relationship. But that's yes. just me. How yes. does hence that I, hence for gay hence I'm saying, Hori, what again, I think you guys need to understand about gay people. They, Gay people are gay. They are not girls. Mm -hmm. With girls, you would be offended to say, I am Motuaka, maybe has some filler or anything. Yeah. It's not about yeah. you. But it's a sexual experience that we are trying to experience as partners. Let's be naughty. Because as much as it is such as that, it means what if I'm not getting you there and then there's someone who can get yeah. you there. And you need to understand the after maybe two years dating someone, a relationship can get boring and redundant. So let's say if it's someone from outside, it's okay if you know about it. Rather than if it's someone from outside, you don't even know about it. It's try like you were in the yeah. relationship. Oh, she said, I feel like it's yes. like that. So I feel like it can be anything. It can be anything. It can be two tops, one bottom. It can be two bottoms. 
one top it can be a bottom a vest and a bottom vest and top so that's about reduce two but look in a way now we're not like i, I think personally if i were to be in a gay relationship i am very monogamy number two like i i don't like sharing but, so right. but i think for gay relationships to last let's be in an open relationship let's talk about it let's have a conversation okay so by you saying open because irrespective you're gonna do it behind my back so you just wanna know who i just wanna know because one thing about me please don't respect me koparos kandela especially in front of gays on kandela what was ready i don't care good game no way guys we have this no way what i'm saying is if it was me, I don't care. Once you ask for that, we're done. Is it? Dude, leave. <laughs> I feel like it's just like, it's more of a me thing mm. than it is of like a relationship or a him thing. Mm. It would just, the moment I feel like when I'm in a relationship, like I'm not good enough, I just feel like it's okay. And mm. I feel like for us in like, if I can say straight relationships, it just is like, we can do a lot, mm. you know, and mm. if in doing a lot, you're still not satisfied then i just feel like i'm just not for you you know okay. but it's me if it he feels like he wants i'm not too spontaneous like that i just feel like then i'm not for you straight again i'm not for you then you can go and experience it with someone because i'm not the type of girl who can be like now i want to taste amanda and i'd be like oh at least you told me about it go josh no i just feel like it's just like bye boy bye <laughs> I understand. Don't even greet me. Mm-mm, nah, I don't and I don't wish you well. I don't wish you well. Excuse. Why are gays artistic? Oh, I've actually seen this a lot. I, I can I can attest to it. Nah. You guys have some sort of skill from heaven. You know, I feel like when it comes to, to gay people... They and how just, you dress. So you ju- yeah. Off. You guys are literally... It's like... It's a poetic thing you have going on. I think the people or the LGBTQ plus community, mm-hmm. they are gifted people in terms of everything. Everything. If they're in law, they excel. Whatever they touch. Everything. Like, if ever now, I'm a straight guy, what's the idea? You are less present in South Africa. Oh my God. Oh my we God. We are giving you the same sound you get in. I can tell you what We are giving you the same. We are giving you the same test. We are giving you the same classrooms, everything. The rest of a gay person will always come on top. I think. But like how it has always been like, it's just like, you guys have a persona that, hence you said earlier on, when you explain that it's just, it's a gay thing. It's a gay thing. I understand mm. when you say it's a gay thing. Mm. Because remember the other time you guys had a presentation mm. with UT and mm. you were just like, hitting it like it's a thing that we have to instill in a personality for and then you guys are still like i need to be shy i need to be now guys if i'm on action i'm on action right now before you re- we would shoot i told you oh Rio, yesterday it was a hectic night yeah. for me i have a very bad headache <laughs> okay, no, because i'm in action <laughs> the and i need to like you're not even supposed to be in shopping and then you are here and your game on and it's it's your thing and yes. when we have done shooting this it's try for now because I'll be tired just wanting to sleep. But now yeah. Timo, so I need to deliver. Guys, like Chimyaka is just like out of it today. I don't even know how he's doing this, but he is and I am very Like proud. I made a pact here for it. I wanna start a YouTube channel and I'm gonna post every week. So if you guys don't subscribe, I, I don't know really Nyaka in. Because we are working, you know. Like if like, they don't subscribe then I don't know. Like this is so much work. Guys did I can't tell you, like for example, my friend bought a whole big mirror, you know, that Wait, uh, so at 1.8, like he bought that mirror at 1.8, right? And then he had to pay for it, transport just so that when we put this camera here, he can actually see yes, what the camera. So you understand how we know as we speak, these are, please subscribe. Stop doing this to my friend, please subscribe, please like, please share, please comment, please do whatever you can in your power to make sure that this thing is a success and not only for me, also for them, because, wow. We don't play Gabo Don't do that. I hope that is the last one. Yeah, oh you God. like it is because these people wrote weird questions Thank on God. here. But because questions now. that we didn't know that we want to know. Now you guys are exposing me because if I like the Zook or 
your but fault. I like how you're giving everyone else a chance to figure things out for themselves mm. when they had mm. no idea that because you know it's just like certain things happen to your body when you grow up emotions everything you just be thinking you're abnormal but then when there's someone out there telling you that oh no listen if you feel like that it's actually something normal but you belong to this group mm. of people mm. or you might belong to this pe group of people it's just like oh i'm normal there's nothing wrong with me because yes. growing up is figuring out state of normalcy and wanting to fit in so bad and then we do shame and but Bro. being gay, you know, it's just the idea. You can't even, you know, you can't even say that you are yet because you don't know if you are or you don't know what is happening with yourself. And also, it's very taboo. It's a thing of like you guys, you like. Imagine we, being amongst friends because even being, by being, doing being in these a group videos, of friends who don't like it. Also, doing these videos, I'm just trying to spread awareness to say, guys, it's not that deep. It's, just it's not. It's a thing. And also, the thing that you just literally made. Um, people are aware that it's not something you wake up and choose mm. so people now at least people now understand that this it's not you there's nothing wrong with being gay there's nothing wrong with how you feel it's normal mm. if you feel like you're experiencing sets of change of emotions now it's different you like the other gender than yours it's it's normal beautiful. it happens it happens beautiful like I lovely just, it's there there are people who are gay it's it's normal you can't beat yourself up for it if you have a group of friends who are homophobic now you know to change just change the group of friends exactly. you can't change yourself change the group of friends move so yeah you can adjust yourself okay last one. Oh my god do you have these <laughs> who wrote this do we have nude bars in South Africa? What is a nude bar? Nude isn't like naked. Yes. We have naked bars. Show me when you enter there, literally from the reception, you are leaving your clothes there. What do you mean? You leaving uh, like I? You are leaving your cell phone. You are leaving your clothes. You pay a certain fee, like an entrance fee. I got clap on like a regular go market on We paid for entrance, and it's not even more than two hundred. Can you see each other's faces? Yeah, in South Africa we do have we do have gay clubs, but we don't have gay clubs. We just have gay dominated clubs, where we okay. our even straight people go, but it's gays who are dominating. Scar, the one that we went to yesterday, mm -hmm. and then you saw that video. Um, Clive's girlfriend mm -hmm. took the video, but it's a it's a gay dominated club. Ninety percent of people there, kitty gays, and then we have nude bars where we're not a few of guests in because of manana where you get the osia everything osia everything like there are there are dark rooms where huanye di suwa or huanye swana and then there's a club there's a bar like bar or a kiswa bujwa you can go to the counter one night in the whole night because yeah, sometimes you don't even want to participate in having anything with anyone. You, you just, just want to go there and be drink. naked and be liberated and just feel free. No one it is judging you with nice. your beauty. I think it feels nice. I would like to try it, but I'm very scared. Yeah, it's also, it's it's just, it's, it's unusual. Anxiety inducing. It's unusual. So unusual. And uh, places like that, I think they can be addictive. They are. It feels like so you're me, trying to get something, something. Yeah, something that is adrenaline. Giving me some milliards. It's giving At the end of the like, it, it will It's pain and pleasure. It's giving tower of terror. It's pain <laughs> and pleasure. So every now and then, what we experience, it's like I can say, like I, I don't wanna. One day, get like some. Never say never. Plus the fact but, that you guys leave your phones, so you know who you are. Like you're safe. Like, like you are safe. Know, but but what I'm gonna tell you. Gay community is a very small community one, so it's just something everyone will know. Okay, like I feel like okay, we left our phones. We know, but also other. it's just like unless if you go there, you can take a PC, you can take a mask, and then you're naked. How is that? Oh, when you're drinking something, I yeah, yeah, you can't take a PC, you can't take a If you don't want people seeing you, and then. But it is fashion or who play them, Lomu, them, Marshall, you can drink whatever the church in game. Okay, okay. They do give you that. Guys, it's a lot of episodes, and people are at work. Not even episode guests, as we talk of long or 12, who value the following day was 6 a.m. Exceeding. Is it underground? It's giving you, underground vibes. Who's what is it? Is it? There's one in Main Lane. What do you mean? There's one in Joburg, there's no, one lie. in Four Ways. 
you lying right on our nose million is like just so yeah here. what is it camp david but the hectic one but it's the one that is in jobek factory Hectic. Hectic. so without rambling too much guys that is the end of our questions if you liked this video or you liked my friend please do follow her on all her social media platforms i will leave everything her videos on tiktok to die for so without rambling too much and wasting your time next time and it will Bye. be coming back in jingle oh, no. yes. Bye, guys.